Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Thanks to Sean Scott for this one. Amy taxed Seton in order to activate its ability, while she controls Leyline of Abundance. Does this cause Leyline of Abundance to give Amy an additional mana? Alright, so the answer is unfortunately no, and the reason for this kind of disappointing and counterintuitive ruling is actually just a technicality. You see, the Comprehensive Rules specifically defines what it means to tap a creature for mana. And as you can see, you would have to be activating a mana ability that uses the tap symbol in its activation cost. Now, because Seton has the word tap spelled out rather than using the tap symbol, that means that what we've just done here does not count as tapping Seton for mana, even though that's basically exactly what we just did. In the same way, if Amy was to tap a Springleaf Drum and a Grizzly Bears to produce a green mana, the Leyline of Abundance would also not give her any extra. And that's because Amy did not tap the Grizzly Bears for mana. She tapped the Springleaf Drum for mana, but she did not tap the Grizzly Bears for mana. And the Leyline of Abundance specifically looks for if you were to tap a Creature for mana. As far as why the rules work this way, I actually don't know for sure. There's a chance that it's because of some kind of power level concerns, like for example maybe Wizards really didn't want Heritage Druid to give you 3 extra mana if you'd used its ability with a Leyline out, but I think that the most likely explanation is probably just that this is one of those cases where the rule has worked this way for as long as anybody can remember, and Wizards of the Coast really doesn't want to challenge the status quo unless there's a compelling reason to. Now, on the plus side, it's actually not all bad news for Seton. It turns out that there is actually one other very important distinction in between using the tap symbol and spelling the word tap out. And that would be the fact that the summoning sickness rule specifically looks for abilities that have a tap symbol in their activation cost. If you played a setin, because it spells the word tap out in its ability, that would mean that you would get to tap it to activate its ability on the same turn that entered the battlefield. And that would be true of any other druids that you control too you'd be able to tap them for mana the same turn that they entered the battlefield too. Actually, I mean, you could tap them to activate Seton's ability because what you're doing actually still doesn't count as tapping those druids for mana. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another Daily Ruling. But until then, I hope you have a great day.